Hello, welcome back to Data Leaps. In today's video, we're going through how to incorporate Databricks AI functions in Genie Space. By doing this, your end user will be able to ask English questions in your Databricks Genie Space and leverage the power of AI functions without having to code in SQL. Shout out to my coworker, Puneet, who actually came up with this idea and wrote the code for the demo. I'll put his social media in the description of this video if you want to follow him on LinkedIn. Without further ado, let's head over to my laptop. So to start out with, we are in a Databricks Genie space. We can see the title of the space, the SQL warehouse, as well as the tables that are in this space. We can get Genie to explain the data set, which will look at the metadata of Unity Catalog and give us a description of different tables as well as how they are related to one another. And then we can ask different questions regarding the data in this space. So very simple question on uh, what are the top selling products of um, this data set? And then now Genie is taking that English question and translating it into SQL for us and also running that SQL query and give us the results. On the top line, it explains what it's trying to do with the SQL query. And also you can see the SQL query that's actually generated. So it's doing a sum of sales quantity and, then, and using that as the top selling product, we can make it more complicated and ask Genie to rerun that query, but rank it by revenue. Again, Genie is context aware, so it knows the chat history. It will be able to rerun it and rank it with revenue and you can see the generated SQL code that Genie is taking the sales quantity times it by sales amount and use that as total revenue. So we can do more things with Genie and for instance we can ask for product ID and product description for specific products that are of a certain category. In this case, we're going to ask for category that's a toothbrush. And we have a column in there that says main category in the data set. We're hoping Genie is able to do the fuzzy match between categorized and main category. And we'll be able to generate that SQL query for us. And that's exactly what happened. It's returned the product that's in that category. And if you look at the SQL query, Genie is using the main underscore category, basically did a fuzzy match between our English question and the column names and generated that SQL query. The next bit is the interesting part. So we're asking Genie to use the product description and dynamically generate a new classification for the products based on what the description is. So the question is using the product description dynamically reclassify the products that you have shown above, right? So because we have toothbrush here, we want to reclassify it as maybe uh, electric and menu and see how Genie does with the classification. And this is not a out of box feature for normal Genie space. This is because we used AI functions behind the scenes to achieve this. We'll show you the query results and I'll show you how to set this up. So you'll be able to see the main category, the description, as well as the new classification. If you look at the generated SQL, you'll be able to see it's actually using AI underscore query and a Llama 3 endpoint as well as a specific prompt for that. If we look at the sample SQL queries we give, and this is how you set it up. So for revenue, we've told Genie that revenue is quantity times amount. And for reclassification, Genie is told to actually use AI query and 
the LAMA 3 endpointer specific prompt. So when we ask Genie to dynamically classify something, it will use this SQL query instead. And this is how you can enable your end user to actually just ask English questions as long as you set up the AI functions behind the scenes. They will be able to leverage the power of AI functions to, to make the most out of Genie space. And you, you can also run queries on top of the dynamic classification that we just did. Again, Gini is context aware. So you have the history of the dynamic classification. You can then run normal kind of group by queries on top of that as well. Now you have the results. You can easily visualize it if you want to and see the answer. You can also ask normal questions without using AI functions. You can ask which store has the highest um, revenue. You can ask different questions in Genie space without leveraging the back end of advanced features like AI functions. Um, and it's not just AI queries that uh, you can use. You, you can also utilize other AI functions that we went through in the other video. Thank you for watching Data Leaps. If you think the content is useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it.